welcome to Science Access. In today's class, we'll be taking the first part of the cell and we'll be following this lecture outline. Definition of cell, talk about the brief history of cell, we'll talk about the cell theory, and we'll talk about the types of cell, which are actually the prokaryotic cell and the eukaryotic cell. Brief description of this type will be given why in the part two of this video, we'll talk about the cell and its components, whereby the functions and description of various components will be given. What is cell? Cell is a basic structural, functional, and biological unit of life or of all living things. It's the building block of life or the smallest unit that actually possesses life. The study of cell is called cell biology or cytology. Cell is the smallest bit of living matter that can exist independently as observed in unicellular organism which actually possesses all the characteristics of life so cell can exist as independent organism or free living organism or can also be part of multicellular body you can see in the diagram be displayed you can see an amoeba a single cell independent and possessing all the characteristics of life likewise you can also see the paramecium now Cell can also be part of multicellular organism, as you can see in this onion cell, numerous cell being part of this plant. Let's take a look at brief history of cell biology and cell theory. Cell was discovered by Robert Hooke in 1665 using his microscope. Hooke viewed a cork cell, which is actually a dead cell, using his screwed microscope. He saw a tiny room-like structure which he termed the cellulae and this work was published in his book Microphagia. Anthony van der Hoek was actually the first to view living cells using his much improved microscope. He actually viewed bacteria and protozoa. These he called the animacus, meaning tiny creatures. He went on to view other cells such as the spermatozoa. Rudolf Voucher in 1855 stated that all cells come from pre-existing cells. However, according to historian Paul, Rudolf Voucher actually plagiarized Robert Ramak's notion that all cells come from pre-existing cells without actually giving him the credit. Matthias Sladen in 1938 actually stated that all plants are made up of cells. Why Theodor Schuwan in 1939 stated that all animals are made up of cells. Now let's talk about the cell theory. The cell theory actually states that all living organisms are composed of one or more cells or products of cells. Two, it actually states that the cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life. Three, it states that all cells come from pre-existing cells. This is actually the three basic cell theory. However, other scientists actually add all energy flow or cause within the cell. And finally, cell contains genetic material passed to daughter cells during cell division. Let's take a look at the types of cell. There are two types of cells, namely the prokaryotic cell and the eukaryotic cell. The prokaryotic cell is a single cell organism whose cell lack nucleus and other membrane bound organelles. They are actually the first organism to inhabit planet Earth. The prokaryotic cell differs from the eukaryotic cell in that the genetic material or the nuclear material is contained in a nucleus rather than the double membrane bound nucleus. What are the characteristics of prokaryotic cells? They are actually small in size, very small in size, ranging from 0.1 mm to about 10 mm. They do not have nucleus but possesses nucleus. Let's take a look at this diagram. You can see the nucleus having a nuclear membrane. Nucleus is characterized by the position of a nuclear membrane. But look at the nucleoid in this prokaryotic cell. There is no nuclear membrane. The nuclear material is actually scattered inside the cytosome or within the cytoplasm. Now, also take a look at the eukaryotic cell. They have double membrane bound organelles such as the mitochondrium, the chloroplast, and all that. But these double membrane bound organelles are actually lacking in the prokaryotic cell. 
Prokaryotic cells do not have double membrane bound organelle. They possess single circular DNA as genetic material and plasmid. Some are autotrophic, while others are actually heterotrophic. Let's take a look at the structure of the prokaryotic cell. As you can see from the diagram, they have the cell wall, the pili, cell membrane, capsule, nucleoid, phasmid, flagellum or flagella as a plural form and the cytoplasm why they actually lack the double membrane bond organ such as the chloroplast the mitochondrion endoplasmic reticulum and others example of the prokaryotic cell includes the bacteria the archae or the archae bacteria and the blue green argue let's talk about the eukaryotic cell these are cells which contain a true nucleus, a nucleus that is actually enclosed within the nuclear membrane. They also possess a double membrane board organelles like the mitochondrion, the chloroplast, the endoplasmic reticulums, and others. The details of these cell components and their function, both for the prokaryotic cell and the eukaryotic cell, will be discussed in the part two of this video. Let's take a look at the differences between the plant cell and the animal cell. As you can see from the diagram, the plant cell have cell wall, while the animal cell do not have cell wall, but actually have cell only cell membrane. The plant cell also possess chloroplast, which is responsible for photosynthesis, but the animal cell lack chloroplast. chloroplast. Therefore, they carry out heterotrophic mode of nutrition. They cannot produce their own food. The plant cell, as you can see from the diagram, actually have a very large vacuum. The animal cell may possess small or no vacuum. The plant cell have a rectangular shape and it is fixed, while the animal cell is round and in some cases irregular in shape. This is the end of today's lecture. Please do this simple assignment. In a tabular form, highlight the differences between plant cell and animal cell and also highlight the differences between prokaryotic cell and eukaryotic cell. Send your answers to biologyassess at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to support this channel. Thank you.